Hello, welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to design a space, a room, I think a, a family room or a living room using items only from Facebook Marketplace. We've done this type of video before. I've designed a room using items only from Urban Outfitters. I've done one for Ikea, but I feel like Facebook Marketplace is a little bit more fitting because that's the main website I shop at. And I think it would be interesting to see if we could furnish a whole room using Facebook Marketplace on, on like a decent budget. I'm not gonna, you know, drop thousands and thousands of dollars, hypothetically. I'm in Chicago right now, so we are going to style this place using Chicago Facebook Marketplace. So if you're from Chicago and you're watching this, I bet some of these items might still be available and maybe we'll do other cities in the future if you if you like this video. Don't yell at me, I'm drinking a Celsius. Um, I don't like it, no. Let's get started on today's video of designing a living room using only items from Facebook Marketplace Chicago. Okay, we're in Chicago. I've listed my miles at 10 miles, so we're not gonna go too far. I'm actually not physically getting these products, so whatever, but it is nice that Facebook Marketplace actually already curates things for you that they know you would like. Like I actually really, we're not designing a, a bedroom, but I already like this antique wood dresser. I need to send this to my mom actually because she is looking for a little antique dresser. Let's start with a sofa because I feel like that's like the center point of a living room or family room. And I usually start by searching vintage sofa. Hold on, drink of my Celsius. <laughs> I like to start with vintage because it just has more unique options. And sometimes they're not even vintage, it'll just be like vintage style sofas. This one is pretty interesting. This kind of reminds me of like a Nikki Kehoe sofa. I'm not gonna hate on this. I don't think I'm gonna end up going with this sofa, but let's put it in there just because it's kind of fun. It really does remind me of like this Nikki Kehoe sofa. Um, and it's a good shape. All right, I guess we're starting off strong. This is article. See, sometimes it's like a random brand will come up even when you search vintage. Eh, actually, I take that back. It's not as good of a color as I thought. Like this is more like lime and this looks like a darker, so never mind. It's also not the right size and it's just like dirty. So let's see if there's any other sofa for us to choose from. I'm always attracted to stripes, so this stripe one is calling my name in a weird way. Huh, I don't know if I like like the side things, but I'm kind of into this sofa. I feel like we could design a cool room around this. Let's add this in. Do we like this one more? I don't know, we have two very unique sofas. This sofa goes with my outfit really nicely. I don't know, wow, I'm liking both of these. We're, we're making a very unique living room. Whoa, I'm not gonna get this one, but this is very intriguing. Wow, that looks cool there, and then it's really shiny. I mean, it's a no, but it's cool. That's why it's fun to just browse Facebook Marketplace in general, because you can find just like random stuff that's just cool, even if you're not getting it. It's, enter it's entertainment. For some reason, I'm really into these like, funky patterns. I don't know if I would actually, oh, this one's like kind of weirdly good in a weird way. Oh, more stuff. Hmm, maybe I'll add this one in just for fun. I don't know why I'm going down this like route of a really old pattern sofa. We'll pick, we'll pick something. Maybe we're going too vintage-y. Maybe I should get like a more vintage chair and then a more regular sofa, but let's see what else they got. Oh, this is interesting. This is cool. It looks really uncomfortable. Let's add it in. Wow, we're coming across a lot of good stuff. I'm actually gonna delete this one because now I hate that one. Let's add in this one. It's just kind of dirty, but is this like a realistic thing that we're doing or? Okay, that's pretty much it for vintage sofas that are available. Now let's look at regular ones and see if we wanna go that route, but I'm feeling kinda funky. So let's look up a restoration hardware sofa because 
I do think restoration hardware has good stuff and I can always find usually something kind of good off of Facebook marketplace by them. Usually there's like an RH linen sofa or like something leather. Like this is, this is cute. God, I don't know what path I want to go down. Like, do we want to make like a crazy designed room or do we want to make something more realistic? What's more fun? Let's add this guy in. Hmm. I think we should delete him. I don't really love a leather sofa, even though restoration hardware does have good ones. I feel like if you're going to get a leather sofa, get a le restoration hardware one and not like a CB2 or whatever. Hmm. Here, this is like a better version. Oh, this is cute. I don't know why. I do like like a linen sofa, just like a general. This one, this one's just a better photo. Oh, this one's good too. I like this one that it's dark. I feel like if we get like a classic sofa, then we could go a little crazier with the other furniture items. Does that make sense? All right, let's delete this guy. I do like him. But let's keep these three for now. Again, it's like very inspired by what I'm wearing, I guess. Okay, now let's try and find like a funky, like vintage armchair. I feel like we need something that's like mid-century or just like a little different and not as classic as our sofa. Um, maybe like a pair, vintage armchair pair. Sometimes I like to get two, like these are pretty fun, tulip chairs. 750. All right. Yeah. See, if we're going to get a restoration hardware sofa, which we have not decided on, then we definitely need some fun, like tulip chairs or whatever. Let's see. What else is there? Oh, this, I actually just bought my brother this chair for his office. It's kind of a similar chair, but those are always fun to have. I mean, it doesn't really make sense in this room, but if you're looking for that type of chair, go on Facebook Marketplace. I'm actually gonna move along to rug. Let's do vintage area rug. I think that's a little bit more important right now because we do have unique sofa options, or I guess just one now, but then we have some basic sofa options. So it's really gonna depend on what rug is available. And I do want a vintage one and there's not many options. What is this, a jute? No. Antique rug? Sometimes I search antique stuff, but I usually feel like it's pricier. Rugs are always the hardest on Facebook Marketplace because it's really just about timing. Like you get lucky if you find a rug on there. It just, you have to look like every day. Okay, I'm gonna look for CB2 rug because sometimes they have stuff. Large area rug. I normally don't do blue, but this is such a large rug. No. Okay, this is another trick I sometimes do. I'll just type in rug, and then we'll put our minimum price at like 300 because I'm looking for like a good rug, and I don't wanna weed through all the like cheap ones. So let's see if we can get anything just by like putting a minimum price in there. Okay, this is nice. I wouldn't, uh, no, I don't like that. What's this one? A vintage handmade Persian rug. All right, let's see what this one looks like in there, just because I feel like we're getting a little desperate and it could go with some of our stuff. Okay, it's not bad, but it's not, I'm not so excited about this space. Persian rug vintage, I don't know. Now we're getting way out of our area. Well, I guess not that far. Oh my God, this is $13,000. I am that person though that always clicks on the most expensive thing and just being like, wow. All right, I think we just have to go with that Persian rug. Is it my favorite? I don't think so, but I think it kind of is cool with the sofa, but the greens don't really go. Like this is more minty and this is like a weird stripe. So I don't know which one to get rid of. Maybe this rug? Actually, I kind of like this rug. They don't have a good photo of it for my board, but I think we should go with this one because then I think we could keep the green stripe couch. 
Let's see how that looks. Hmm, I don't know now. Maybe I hate it. I searched Art Deco rug because sometimes I feel like those can give you some more modern-ish feel options. This one's okay. Should we add this one in? It's just kind of boring, but it all it works. All of these are like, they're good, but I wouldn't say anything is really tickling my fancy. Should we cover this one up? I don't know. All right, this is where we're at. I don't feel super excited, but let's see if we can pull this together. Let's take a quick little break to talk about today's sponsor, Ritual. Ritual is now expanding their products and just launched Symbiotic Plus, a daily three-in-one prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic supplement designed to support your gut, digestive, and immune health. I started taking Symbiotic Plus every morning along with my protein powder, and I honestly do feel quite the change. Gut health is extremely important to me because it is connected to your mind and how you feel. You take a daily capsule every day. It is meant for simple streamlined gut support and the capsules are delayed released. So it helps reach the colon, not the stomach, an ideal place for probiotics to survive and grow. I have no shame in talking about my gut problems and neither should you. Ritual is offering you all 20% off your first month using my code pageW20 at checkout. Thanks again, Ritual, for sponsoring this video. Do we need to make a decision here on like what couch we're gonna do? What if we took this one out? This one? I think we have to delete this. I feel like we should just keep the striped couch because it's fun. I think we should delete this, get in there, and maybe delete this. Okay, I'm kind of vibing with this. We'll keep that for now, but I'm into this, this setup so far. Let's see if we can find a good chaise. I don't feel like we're going to, but oh, well, this bench is kind of cool. No, that's not, actually, that's not cool at all. <laughs> Let's type in armchair and just see what's available, I guess. I feel like we need something kind of modern and I feel like we also need it to be comfortable because we don't really have like a loungy chair right now. But this is just difficult to get everything off of Facebook Marketplace. All right, moving on. I wanna get a Danish TV console. I want it to be like a full wall unit. Do you think they had that on here? What's this? A little pricey, but what is it? Could we put a TV above it? Do we need a TV? Oh, this is weird. It's cool, but it's also like impractical for our space. This is in Wisconsin. It's like Danish credenza. Credenza, console, you know. That's cool. I wanted something pretty unique. This is cool too. This could just be a fun little decorative piece. No. Okay, I'm into these side tables that I have just discovered a little pricey, but I make the rules. So we are going to add these in. I really like how structured they are. But here's the thing. Now that we have these, which couch? Do we get rid of the striped couch? It's ugly and good at the same time, you know? But we have these now, we have this. Maybe we have two couches in this room. We don't know. They could go across from each other, let's see. I do need someone that like actually produces these into renderings because it would give such a good idea. So let's split them up. That goes over here. Okay, that goes over there. It's kind of fun, actually. And maybe we only need one of these chairs, so. We bought two, but we're giving one to our friend. Um, okay, I'm into this. We have two couches. We have a fun little tulip chair. We have good side tables. This energy drink is actually making me feel like lightheaded. <laughs> I just had to take a little break, but now we're back and we're going to get a coffee table because I think that is what is going to help tie in this room. I feel like coffee tables are the one area in design where you definitely could buy vintage or from Facebook Marketplace. Anything that's like not a fabric is actually like preferred to buy used or vintage because why not? It's not like it's dirty. All right, so we have like this dark wood 
on our side table. So I feel like this coffee table, it could be, ooh, I feel like chrome could be nice because there is chrome within the legs of this like little tulip chair. But again, we gotta get lucky. We just gotta get lucky. <laughs> I forgot to type vintage. I think that really helps if you type vintage. It, it, not that it even has to be vintage, it just like curates it nicer. I don't know what it is. It just weeds out all the bad stuff, usually. This one's kind of good. Here are our options. This is like, I don't think I would actually get this coffee table for myself, but it could work in this room. I don't hate it. This one's pretty cool with the black top. Okay, let's add this one in. It's laminate on the top. The black top on this is actually a little strange, I think. It doesn't really like, I don't know, something's off about it. So we're not gonna do that one. This one I think is a top option. We could look for other things, but I do think the chrome and the clear could be nice. Yeah, I think that's okay. I also found this one, oh. This has like a weird etching on the top of it, so I don't think that this is going to work, but maybe we'll come across something else. I don't know why I feel strong on the chrome. I want like a shelving unit is what I want though. Large media console. Is that what I should be searching? Like I want something like this is not right, but I wanted something like this big, but not that, like more of like a shelving unit. Wall shelving unit, vintage. Gosh, this is confusing. This is getting us closer. Do we have to have a TV? I don't feel like we need to have a TV. This still isn't right, but that's kind of like the idea. Oh, wait. Like this is what I want, but then that's a desk. Could we pretend that it's not? Starting to feel super vintage in here, and I feel like it's because of the couch, but I think we need like a modern, modern shelving unit. Like I want something that's like dwell or null or even just like the container store type feel, like something like white and modern. I don't know if they're gonna have that. Let's just look at null. Sometimes I just like to search a random brand and then just see what they have to offer for us. Oh, these are kind of cool side tables. We already have side tables. I don't like these as much, but good find. What is this? Kind of a weird wood. Oh, this is like, what is that? It's like an office building desk. Like this could be, let's add this in. Everything is feeling so vintage though. That, that orange with that uh, sofa is not right. This is not right. Ugh. This is pretty cool. Ooh, what are these? Oh, this is in Ohio. I don't think we want to go to Ohio, but this is interesting. I love like a big, just anything big is fun. All right. I guess let's add this in. I don't really love how intensely vintage this all feels. But what are we gonna do? Modern lamp, let's see. It needs modern stuff. <laughs> let's try CB2 lamp. Maybe, maybe they'll come up with a good one. I do feel like CB2 usually has good lighting, but I don't wanna, it's so vintage. Everything is so, all right, fine. Vintage <laughs> Ikea, maybe that will help. I mean, that's cool, but this whole room feels like really old to me. Floor lamp. I'm like getting stressed now. Oh, this is kind of cool. Okay. I kind of like this because it feels more like Japanese. And I think it's like nice to add in this other type of design other than like this like really old mid-century feel that we're kind of going off of. Honestly, I think it looks good. Like if we could, someone draw me a rendering of this. Honestly, I would accessorize, but it's like, do we really want pillows? Like rejuvenation pillows? 
Like, do we really want to buy throw pillows off of Facebook marketplace? I feel like that's just odd, but it would help the couch a lot. Let's see if there's like CB2 pillows just for fun. I would never really buy pillows off Facebook marketplace. Interesting, not right, but my mom would like those. Let's see if we can find one large modern art piece. We're not, it's a, again, it's kind of, oh, this one's kind of fun. This like geometric, but again, we're very vintage. Apparently, if you design a room all off of Facebook Marketplace, all the good stuff usually is from like vintage stores. So I do kind of like this though. It does help tie it in, but again, everything is very vintage feeling. All right, I think we could end that here. What does everyone think of my final room? What would you do different? I feel like if we accessorized with like more modern, like a modern lamp or I don't know, switched out a few, mm, I think the pillows would help. What would you do to add to this space to make it feel not so vintage? It honestly probably is. No, I do like the couch. Something is off. Usually I feel a little bit better at the end of these things, like with my Urban Outfitters or Ikea one, I think it was just like a little bit easier. This was definitely difficult to design a space like this, but I, you know what, overall I do like it. It's just hard to make it not feel so old, but I'm trying to picture this in a room. Someone draw this up in a room for me. I'm very curious, and what would you add? Take my design and add things to it to make it feel better. Overall, I like every single piece individually. Do I like it all together? That is the question. Until next time, let me know what I should design next. Should I put together a room using just Craigslist or what should I use? And I think next time I will use a renderer so we can get an actual look of what the room could look at. But right now I'm just a small little YouTuber, okay? I don't have the technology or the time to do anything but a little mood board. Hopefully you enjoyed anyways. So see you next time. Goodbye.